Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Quixel Suite, the new plugin suite for Photoshop. Um, I say new, but it's really been around a while as the product Endo and Dido. But they've combined that into a suite now. And basically, I'm going to show you how to use these to create normal maps and texture maps very quickly. We're going to start out with Endo, which is for normal map creation. And after you've opened Photoshop, if you open Quixel Suite, you will get this little interface window. We can click on Endo, and that will pop up another window. And from here, we can create a new project. Now, there's a few different ways to get into creating normal maps with Endo. The first is with an empty project like this. We can set our size, 1024 will be fine for this, whether or not we want it to be 16-bit or 8-bit, and we can select our output path. And then we create new. And what we get is a nice little uh, normal map base to start with. Now, that is one way to go about that. The other way to go about it, well, one of the other ways to go about it, is if you already have a window open to the size you want, you can simply click Convert, and you'll get the same base to start with. Now, perhaps you've already got something you've been working on in black and white, and let's just uh, paint something up quick here. Let's uh, fill this with white, and use a nice hard brush here, and we'll just paint some detail in. And we can convert something that we already have, and it will go through its process, and boom, we have a beginning base for our normal map. Those are three of the ways that we can do this. Now, there is one other way that you can start with Endo. And let's talk about that one. We can also create a normal map from um, a diffuse map. So if we bring in a diffuse map like this, we can now simply convert that. And then we can play around with what we want to do, create more depth, more size. So on and so forth. And the other thing we can do is to actually bring in a normal map we've already created, perhaps in a 3D project that we've done a bake down on that we want to add additional um, stuff to. Now, however, when we bring in a normal map, it is important to note that we need to come to our file settings, down to mix, and then we need to click on this normal to endo2. And that will convert our map, and sometimes you'll get you didn't get a great bake you'll get some stuff like this so I'm just gonna hit create again and that's gonna even that all out what basically what's that doing is that is doing is setting it up so that endo can work with its file and layer system with the normal map that you already have existing so now we can go in and we can paint from here but all of these techniques are more or less the same as what we're gonna do which is start from scratch So we're going to start a new map, 2048 by 2048, we'll convert that over, and now we are ready to go. So in the next video we're actually going to start painting, but I wanted you guys to see the different ways you could open up a project starting with Endo. So I'll see you in that video.